John chapter 4 from verse 43. Now, after the two days, he departed from there and went to Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. So when he came to Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things he did in Jerusalem at the feast. For they also had gone to the feast. So Jesus came again to Cana of Galilee, where he had made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. And when he heard that Jesus had come out of Judea into Galilee, he went to him and implored him or begged him to come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will by no means believe. The nobleman said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. There is nothing that is yours about to die that will die. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say nothing pertaining to you that is about dying shall die or will live. You shall be supernaturally restored in the name of Jesus Christ. And Jesus said to him, go your way, your son lives. So the man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and he went his way. And as he was now going, home, going down, his servants met him and told him saying, your son lives. Then he inquired of them the hour when he got better, and they said to him, Yesterday at the seventh hour, 1 p.m., the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in which Jesus said to him, Your son lives. And he himself believed, and he saw his whole household. This again is the second sign, second miracle, second wonder. Jesus did when he had come out of Judea into Galilee. The first one, he made water to become wine to solve the problem of a couple whose wedding wine just got finished. Christ worked a miracle of creating wine from water. Here we see him by the spoken word creating healing for the sick. Today, I want to speak over your life like Christ as his ambassador. That challenge that has given you pain is hereby declared brought to zero, nothing, cancelled, removed, destroyed, terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. That which has made you to shed tears privately is hereby declared terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that your son lives, your wife lives, your business is restored. In the name of Jesus Christ, that which the enemy has put in all he has got to destroy, I declare that is rescued right now. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, what the enemy has meant to be destroyed, I declare is set free from the wicked clutches of the adversary. In the name of Jesus Christ, your business is restored to flourish again. Your finances is restored. Your health is restored. That which the enemy has ordained to be destroyed is hereby declared restored in the name of Jesus Christ. What miracle that the Lord will do for you that will make you believe, you and your household, that Jesus rose from the dead, I command that miracle to be done for you today. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.